Hey, thanks for sticking around to watch the extended interview with our friend Paul Taylor, who is now the director of the museum out at Mount St. Helens called the Seven Wonders Museum. Paul, I'm, I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am that God has, has literally prepared this, and I can't think of a, of a better person to be out there and really taking this over and taking it to the next level. I'm so glad and you're there. And a more generous man to all of the Creation Today viewers. He said, That's come right. out, the story would give you 10% off. And he said for Eric, he'd give him 10% more. So Eric pays an extra 10%. <laughs> tell, tell us real quick, just kind of get into um, uh, getting out there, getting involved, and just, I mean, you're obviously passionate about it. Just share some of, the, some of that with us. Well, you know, we're passionate about creation, and uh, if people come here, we've got a great center here. We've got an exhibition, we've got a bookshop, we've got uh, uh, lots of tourist stuff here. We've got a, a small auditorium where we can hold conferences, we can hold talks. I, I you know, I'll, if people come here and they want to have a tour of the area, I'll give people a short uh, uh, presentation to show them the sort of things that they're going to expect and to be able to put them in in context. But we, uh, just for example, here's a typical day. You might come here um, at say nine o'clock, and I'll give you a talk for 20 minutes uh, uh, so by about 9 30 uh, where we'll be off will be people will be getting in cars and we'll be driving up the valley 10 miles up the up the valley towards the mountain we'll have a look at where a tourist home was partly buried in ash then we'll go another 10 miles and we'll see the edge of the blast zone another three miles and we'll see the logging center and the exhibition for that and uh, we'll put that probably be time for lunch then and you can see the devastation in the valley below how you can still see the effects of the volcanic eruption then uh, we can get on then eventually just just over 40 miles to get to the volcano itself and we can have a look uh, you uh, Johnson Ridge you're four miles from the uh, the volcano crater so you can see in it you can see the crater glacier very clearly and we can talk about what's in there we can talk about what's in the valley below the canyons that you can see in the valley below and if you've got plenty of time we can even do a, t uh, a hike uh, we've got a, a two mile hike uh, which with uh, my, uh, uh, my interpretive talks would last about an hour and a half, you know, because stopping every so often and uh, having a look at the things that are of interest in that area. So you can really spend an entire day in this valley based on this center. So you can come here. Uh, if you're already into uh, creationism, then you can spend time here and study here, use this as a base, or you can bring your friends here. You bring your unsaved friends here or, or your uh, Christian friends who don't know a great deal about uh, about the subject, and, and uh, we can talk to them about about that uh, so there's a lot of stuff that you can do here and uh, you just need to find us you just need to go on interstate 5 the main north south highway through washington state uh, either drive northwards from portland oregon or southwards from seattle uh, one and a half miles from Seattle Airport, one mile, uh, sorry, one and a half hours from Seattle Airport, one hour from Portland Airport, until you get to Junction 49, and you turn off, you turn east, and you drive along State Highway 504 for nine miles, just over nine miles, and you'll see us there. So come on and spend, spend a whole day with us. Eric, I'm going. I'm, I'm planning the trip in my mind. I know. As I'm like, which one is take, easier to fly into? Take a Portland whole day, and it, oh, that'd be, that would be a lot of fun. Now, I have a question for you, Paul. Um, of all the evidence that you examine there and stuff, do you have like one or two that you point to that are like that are one of your favorite things that, that really just just go, wow, we already know that the Bible is the foundation, but it's like it supports the truth of the Bible so well. One of your favorite or maybe two. Well, it's just things that you can see. When we go on the hike around the, the hummocks, uh, uh, which is a sort of area of little little hills caused by um, uh, debris from the volcano, from the eruption, uh, you can get to one place where you can see uh, uh, the gorge that clearly the Tootle River hasn't cut out. It's just too big for the, uh, the Tootle River to have cut out. And you can, um, you can see... Um, how that that has been pulled uh, pushed through there by uh, volcanic activity and then the stream following through it's just so clear uh, everything's in place and you can see that high energy events can create changes to the landscape of the earth very very rapidly and it just gives me the opportunity to tell people this is the effect that must have been happening as the water ran off the north american continent and elsewhere in the world at the end of the flood oh that's good but what, what, are, what are some of the other things? Because I love these scientific facts that just say, once again, hey, the flood really happened. Hey, God's word really is true. This, uh, everything is pointing to this being true. You got no excuse. You know, about five weeks ago, um, a family came, quite a large family, homeschooled family. And uh, there, there was a father and mother and children. They brought along the father's brother 
who was a professor at a secular university, a Christian, but he couldn't get the idea of, uh, of the idea of a young earth. That's why they dragged him along. He was interested. He had a lovely time. We, we had a walk around uh, uh, the, the Hummocks Trail. He was a professor of fluid dynamics, and he just couldn't get this idea about how the flood worked. Somebody had mentioned to me that when the, um, the landslide happened and all the material was coming out of the volcano, it worked in a manner very similar to fluid dynamics. And the, the hummocks are basically due to the fluid slowing down and the, flu and the fluid, uh, the fluid um, nature of the, uh, of the material stopping as things just dropped in place. And I said that to him and he had a look round and he said, yes, that's it. I can understand these hummocks have been formed by the fluid just changing. And, you know, by the end of that conversation, within 15, 20 minutes, he was convinced that the whole of Genesis was absolutely true as Whoa. written because he'd seen it on that walk. Wow. A professor of fluid dynamics going, checking this out, because that's that whole place. I mean, when you watch, by the way, there's a couple DVDs that, yeah, that you need to mention it. because they go into this information. I think they do it on a very easy to understand level. I mean, I, I was able to understand this information. Yeah. It's presented so well. It was easy. It's probably <laughs> kindergarten level. Yes. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> but ta talk about kind of those there. because you guys have those there and these DVDs have been yeah. made right there. Well, it's very interesting because uh, you've got this DVD as well, and you spoke to um, uh, Marianne Pike recently. This was filmed by Marianne's sister, Becky, and uh, um, th 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 this was filmed in the um, Columbia River Gorge. Now, the Columbia River Gorge is close to here. It's only an hour and a half drive from here. So if you're going to this area, then on another day, you need to go there and you need to go and see all the things that, uh, that are mentioned in this DVD. This is a fun DVD. It's a full of action. It's great fun. And uh, we stock this here. You stock it at Creation Today as well. And uh, that's another place that you can go and visit. You can see how the, uh, the after effects of the Missoula flood. Uh, caused uh, such devastation in the Columbia River Gorge. You can just see everything. You can go to the, these places and see how flood water has caused such uh, devastating effects. So that's well worth seeing. Uh, there's the film with uh, Steve Austin on uh, uh, the area around Mount St. Helens, filmed by uh, Kyle Justice. And um, this is a, a marvelous documentary film. Uh, sort of a 30th anniversary film almost of the uh, uh, the original studies that Steve Austin did around Mount St. Helens. Again, you've got this film, uh, we've got this film. It's a very, very important film and I think one that people will enjoy watching and, and learning about. Awesome. And they really do, do go into all the facts there. I, I, I don't Evidently, know how it's people... it's pretty simple. It, it's pretty simple, Ben. I don't know how people can, can see all this evidence and not say, look, God's word really is true. Well, I think it goes back to the silver bullet. It's right. like, it doesn't matter. That's what Jesus tells. He goes, if the prophets came yeah. back from the dead, it wouldn't, matter. It wouldn't convince these people. We've, you've got to, if we must come, those that come to God must believe that he is. Yeah. Otherwise you can't come to him. That's exactly right. The Pharisees were ticked. Well, I just read that this morning in my devotions, ticked when Jesus did miracles. Can't believe you healed on the Sabbath, and from that day forward, they sought to kill him. They wanted to find out how to destroy him. So it's You're very right. important. Jesus emphasized, didn't he? You know, he said, if you, if you won't believe Moses, then you won't believe me because Moses wrote about me. And of course, one of the books that Moses wrote was Genesis. It's very clear what Jesus was saying. Um, uh, it talks about how Jesus explained everything to the disciples on the road to Emmaus about himself from Moses onwards. Uh, so it's very clear that. And it's, it's interesting to note that one of the pioneers of the uh, concepts of deep time, the millions of years, God idea uh, that uh, uh, Charles Lyell, his motivation was to undermine the geology of Moses. We have letters that show that that's the case. He wanted to undermine the, the, the geology of Joseph, of Moses and get the things away from uh, what the Bible had to say. And he, he said that the best way of doing that is in, in a historical sketch. In other words, rewrite history. Let's rewrite the geological history of the world so that we don't have to take into account the Bible. That's what he wants to do. His eyes are closed. His eyes were blinded. People cannot understand this evidence because they're not looking at it with the correct eye and the correct worldview. Yep. That is so true. Okay, Paul, yesterday you and I were talking a little bit before the show uh, today, and you had mentioned you guys have several things you guys would like to do, uh, upgrades and things like that to the museum. And so I want you to tell us about that. But before you do, I just want to go ahead and encourage uh, watchers out there, go to Seven Wonders Museum and go to their website, make a donation, help them take this museum to the next level because they've got people driving by all the time that do not understand the truth of creation. And it is a mission field right there at an area 
where lots and lots of people come visit. Do, do, by the way, do they know how many people come visit Mount St. Helens a year? Well, that's a good question, and I don't have that figure on the top okay. of my head at the moment. Sorry. That's fine, I, but I know it's a lot. You said traffic is thousand. crazy on the tours going through there. But tell us some of the things you guys want to do to, to make upgrades to the museum as you guys move forward. Well, we, want, we want to make sure we've got a good observation platform out at the front so that people can see what's going on. Out at the front at the moment, by the way, you'll see some models. So you see some snowmen that have been created. We haven't had enough snow here yet at the moment. <laughs> snowmen. Those, uh, uh, I'll tell you a secret. They've been made from tires painted oh. tires but we've got some snowmen on our front garden and so you can see you just just come to the center and just hang out and just find out uh, about things there's a lot of things we'd like to do new exhibitions we'd like to do new projects we'd like to put in place have a look at our website and find out the latest news it's sevenwondersmuseum.org and uh, you know we, we would value your support uh, we'd value people uh, going there and uh, you know like every other ministry we need regular monthly support if we're going to be able to keep going and keep witnessing to the truth of creation, uh, the fact that Genesis is true from the very first verse, and to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ as shown from the beginning of the Bible onwards. Amen and amen. Please go there, I'm telling you, to expand the creation message to people that just simply haven't seen this truth before is so important. And Paul, you're right there, right at an icon for creationists, right at an icon for people that just want to come visit where they're going to come check it out. So, man, I just want to encourage you, help make uh, that place a place that changes way more lives than it would because of the resources they have available to do it. So, And if we've got a quick second or two just to say one other thing, you know, we did talk, we were laughing and joking about sort of discounts and things, but we will put a package together, especially for viewers of Creation Today. Keep an eye on both our website and keep an eye on the Creation Today website. When we've worked out exactly what we're doing, we'll definitely be giving discounts for viewers, but uh, we'll put together some sort of package. So if you're going to come and visit uh, uh, the Pacific Northwest, make sure you put us uh, on your itinerary and uh, it'll be worth your while. So keep an eye open for, for special things happening. Awesome. Hey, if people want to get information emailed to them or they want to email you guys and ask you some questions about coming, what's a good email address for them to use? Uh, well, you can use info at sevenwondersmuseum.org or you can fill in uh, the contact sheet on our website. And a phone number if they need to contact the museum there? Phone number is 360-274-5737. He's got it. I was testing him. He's good. <laughs> awesome. Paul, I can't thank you enough for joining us today. Uh, so excited about how God is continuing to expand the outreach of Creation Ministries. So, wow, it's awesome. I'm Absolutely looking, awesome. I'm looking forward already to going to Washington You do State need to go there. I've never been to Washington State. <sighs> and, uh, Gorgeous. I, I can't wait to go see Paul Taylor there. Awesome. Hey, thanks for joining us today, Paul. Thank you so much for having me. God bless. Bless you.